Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Got another product review here today. So Saka reached out to me. They sent me this cordless buffer polisher to try out and see what my thoughts were on it. You can get this on Amazon right now at the time of this video for right at $99. So I'll put a link in the description for it. And you can see it runs off a 12 volt DC battery here. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of it and then we'll try it out on one of my vehicles here. So I'll just flip it over here. You can see what it says on the box. So it looks like we got six different speeds you can choose from on it. And then of course, 12 volt lithium ion battery. And then uh, it uses the sticky disc. It's almost like a Velcro style that you just uh, stick on there and then pull off when you're done with it. And you can see, it says it's for car polishing, stove cleaning, cleaning glass, and washing the sink. And my main purpose for it is I'll be using it for car polishing. So let me go ahead and uh, open it up here show you what all you get so this black thing here this is going to be an apron i guess to protect you from the dust and everything else or getting it on your clothes here not sure if i'll use that and then they give you some buffing polishing pads here uh, this is the foam style both of these and then you get the soft one here you can see it's just sticks on there they also give you this microfiber style here, and then it's almost like a sheepskin. And then there's one other style in there. So three different ones of these. Give you a sanding disc here. And it looks like it's gonna be a 2000 grit. They just give you the one. This is gonna be our tool here. And you can see it's pretty lightweight, not too bad. They got this rubber grip on here to help you grip it. Fits around your hand pretty pretty nice and easy here. And then, uh, of course, you got your on and off switch. Flip it over here. And then you got your different speeds you can choose from. And then uh, once I get the battery in here, I think this is a battery indicator. Shows you when it's getting low, medium, and high there. So and for the purpose of this video, I already took this out and charged it. it took about two hours for the first charge and uh you can see your battery here is a 2000 milliamp hour battery and you can get the another battery they only include one with it but you can get a replacement one on amazon i'll put a link in the description for that and right now that's going for 22 dollars so be kind of nice to have a backup battery as well and this just plugs in to the battery right here and then you got uh, some level indicators. So when you first plug it in, this will be red, this LED light. And then once it's done charging, it'll be green. So let's go ahead and uh, put this in the tool here. And uh, we'll go ahead and set it on one. Go ahead and turn it on. And as you can see, we're in the green there on our battery. So I'm assuming these will shut off once it starts getting low. And you can see you got your different speeds. Go all the way to six here, turn it off, and then I'll show you on these pads, the Velcro style here, just sticks on there really easy, and if you need to, it pulls right off of there. So let's go ahead and uh, try this on one of the vehicles here really quick. Okay, so really quick here, I just want to show you. I went ahead and opened this, and they actually give you three different microfiber style ones here. And then, of course, the sheepskin style one. And then I'm not really sure what this one's for, or maybe it's just a cover to put over it when it's in storage. But you also get this one as well. And then I went ahead and opened up the apron here. You can see it's just kind of a little apron here. Got your strings. And then you also get a like a little front pocket here. You can slip whatever you need to in it. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out on my Ford Focus here. Since I've owned the car, I've never waxed it or anything. So I'll go ahead and just try this new finish once a year car polish on it. All right, so I'll go ahead and try this on the roof here. I went ahead and washed this yesterday. It's kind of hard for you guys to see, but there's a lot of watermarks on here. And then hopefully you guys can see with the reflection of everything. So like I said, I'm going to be using this new finish. I got a little bit of this left here. We'll try it out. And then I'll be using uh, this pad on it. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit on the pad here. And actually that was quite a bit, but then just kind of mix it in. 
on your paint here. And let's go ahead and try it out here. I'm gonna go ahead and start out with, uh, try it on three there. And I don't think that's enough. So let me go ahead and crank it up here. Go ahead and go all the way to six. And so far, not too bad. Fits right around your palm of your hand really well. So I'll go ahead and do a section of the roof here, then I'll let it sit and dry, and then uh, we'll wipe it off and see how it looks. Okay guys, so as you can see, got the roof all done here, and then also got half of the hood done as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other half of this hood, and then we'll go ahead and wipe off the roof. And as of right now, I'm at a, pretty much the halfway mark is what it's showing on the battery indicator here. So uh, let's go ahead and do this other half of the hood. And then not sure if you guys can see, but you can kind of see right, right in here, I got some paint damage, some scratches there. It looks like somebody tried rubbing out. So we'll see if this uh, gets that out of there. I highly doubt it's going to, but it also I may need some like cutting compound as well, but we'll go ahead and try it and see how it does. You guys can see I'll show you here you can see the indicator level there so we're in the red now all right so I'm just gonna use a microfiber towel and just take all this off by hand because I want to save that battery for the rest of the car there so I'll just take a clean microfiber here and just get all this wiped off here Okay, so I got that all wiped off and uh, feels pretty good here. Uh, the paint on this car isn't the best as it is and it should be clay barred, but I just wanted to try that out. Um, but overall, it looks pretty good on here. Um, like I said, you can see I got some imperfections on this paint and uh, it's not the greatest, but let me go ahead and uh, wipe off the hood now. Okay, so I got the hood all done, as you saw, and you can still see right here. So it didn't take that out, but like I said, that could be just be because of the stuff I'm using. So if I had some cutting compound, it might take that out a little better here. But uh, overall, I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to, you know, polish it, and it uh, seems like the battery's still going here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little more here on this car, and actually I'm gonna try to shine up these headlights here and uh, we'll see how long this battery lasts. All right guys, so I'm just gonna keep going at it and uh, we'll see how long this battery lasts. Okay, so as you saw, I was able to do this whole side on that battery as well. So I'll go ahead and wipe this off and then we'll uh, keep going. Okay, so now we'll move on to the trunk here because I got that side all wiped off. And I'm still going on the same battery, but I did notice that this is a uh, flashing red now. So it's probably about ready to run out here. So we'll go ahead and see how much more we can go.
go. So now it's, well, it's probably gonna die here. It just shut off on me. And there you go. So still not too bad. I was able to get the roof, hood, one side, and then half of the trunk uh, done on a single battery. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. And I'm actually really impressed by this uh, Sacker cordless buffer polisher. Uh, the thing I was worried the most about was the battery life. But as you saw, I was still able to get pretty much three quarters of the car done on this single battery here. And as you can see, I got it charging now. And that'll turn green once the uh, battery is fully charged here. But if you're going to get this, I recommend getting a second backup battery. Like I said, it's about $22 on Amazon. I'll provide a link in the description for that. I'm actually going to pick one up myself. Because, uh, like I said, this actually works better than I thought it was going to. Because this is my normal go-to one. It's a porter cable. And as you can see, this one's corded. So that cord kind of gets in the way a lot. Plus, this is about probably three times heavier than this one here. And really, um, it's not much of a difference. I mean, this is probably going to be a lot more powerful, even though you still got your six settings on this as well. But uh, you don't have to worry about a battery on it. But still, like I said, I'm pretty impressed by this. I'll get a backup battery for it, and I'll try some of this other stuff out as well. So overall, uh, not really any cons on it. Maybe the only con I would say is uh, the power on and off button is kind of in a weird spot. I wish it was more like right around here. So it makes it easier to shut off with one hand because when you're holding this with your palm you almost have to reposition your hands or grab your other hand to shut it off there so i just wish that was in a different area but other than that that's about it and uh, hopefully this video helps you out if it does why don't you subscribe to my channel check out some of my other videos and i'll see you in the next one thanks